Welcome to TMCI TV. We're glad you joined us today. I'm Bishop Bob Coulter with the Missionary Church International. Frankly, I uh, thought we were going to be broadcasting our annual conference from Lancaster, South Carolina at this time. But because of the increase of the pandemic in South Carolina, we decided to postpone it. However, I wanted to take a few moments just to tell you about the great things God's been doing through TMCI this last year. For those who do not know, TMCI is a growing organization whose credentials are recognized around the world. For over 25 years, the Missionary Church International has fulfilled a simple mandate from God to empower men and women around the world to fill the calling God has on their lives. We do this by giving them a 510c3 in the United States and also ordaining them for ministry. Then we pray for them and help them equip them through regional meetings, the annual conference, and uh, live internet meetings during the month. TMCI has representatives on every continent except Antarctica. We have 50 missionaries who live in foreign lands. In addition to our missionaries, we have organizations in Africa, uh, India, and Mexico. In the next few weeks, Bishop Mosley Newman was going to share about the miraculous things that are happening in Africa. Bishop Johnny Riley will share what's going on in India. God's moving in a mighty way there. And Bishop Jim Reyes is telling us about the great things God is doing in Mexico. In Mexico, God has actually allowed us to be recognized as the denomination by the Mexican government. And we're just praising God what God's doing in Mexico. So even though the pandemic stopped many from doing short trip missions, trips, we still had 12 people had divine appointments in nine countries last year. You know, truly God is honoring the international in the TMCI name. In the United States last year, we had 39 new ministries joined TMCI. But what blessed me more than ever, than anything else, was the 44,000 people who accepted Jesus Christ through TMCI ministries last year. You know, 75% of those salvation were in the United States alone. You know, sometimes we get distracted and do not realize that God is moving in our midst. We praise God for the way he continues to use TMCI ministries throughout the world. One of the unique things about TMCI, besides having churches under our covering, we extend credentials to parachurch ministries, such as food ministry, Buddhist ministries, biker ministries, chaplains, Christian counselors, thrift stores, schools, and human trafficking ministries, just to mention a few. Another important thing unique about TMCI is that when you join TMCI, you're an affiliate which means that you are connected, but have complete freedom in running your ministry at God's leads you. Now, the blessing that TMCI has is 22 bishops worldwide to serve TMCI ministries. TMCI bishops are unique in that they're not given a designated geographic area to work in. These men and women of God have walked at least 20 years in their ministries and have, are here to serve TMCI ministry wherever they are needed. As Matthew 20, 26 said, Jesus came to be served, not to serve. Excuse me. He, he, Jesus came to serve, not to be served. And that's what TMCI leaderships do. TMCI ministries, our commitment to you is to help you grow in your ministry so that you succeed in that your God kingdom is advanced through your ministry and your life. I mentioned earlier that this time of the year, we usually have our annual conference and officially launch the new TMCI year and the focus on the Holy Spirit puts on our hearts. So this year is our new year theme is pressing forward based on the scripture from Philippians 3, 12 to 14, which says, not that I have already attained or already perfect, but I press on that I may lay hold of that which Christ Jesus has also laid hold for me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upper call of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. You know, God is not stagnant. He's always on the move. Now our job is to move with him. I believe moving with him is the most critical thing we're going to have to do and be facing this year. God has put these two words on my heart this year, obey and go. 
No longer can we be passive and not speak out. Satan is not hiding himself anymore. As Isaiah 59, 14, 15 says, so justice is driven back and righteousness stands at a distance. Truth is stumbles in the street. Honesty cannot enter. The truth is nowhere to be found and whoever shuns evil becomes to pray. We, the church, you and I, are all believers, have the spiritual authority to turn back the situation around us. We can no longer sit and wring our hands and think how bad things are. No. John 14, 12 tells us, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will also, and the greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Folks, this is a time for the greater works. We have the power of the Holy Spirit living in you, and it will be loosed through you. God, through his spirit, has empowered us with all spiritual blessing and tools to use against the enemy. John 14, 12 says that greater works we will do. Now is the time. Put those spiritual eyes and ears to see and hear what divine appointment God has for you this coming year. I believe this coming year is truly a time of great works for all TMCI ministries. This is a breakthrough year for TMCI ministry where signs and wonders will follow you wherever you walk and spiritual awakening will happen wherever you walk. Do not limit God in your life. Start pressing forward today to your destiny for this coming year. You know, get on your knees. Seek God for he has much, much more for you than you imagine. This coming year will be a great year of victory for the church as God empowers and places you strategically and to bring truth and deliverance to your sphere of influence. Folks, this is a time for the greater works. We have the power of the Holy Spirit living in you. God through his spirit has empowered us with all spiritual blessings and tools to use against the enemy. I see the fire revival breaking out in each of your areas because I know wherever a TMCA ministry walks, spiritual awakening is happening. He's assured me and confirmed this in my quiet time. So while revival is breaking out in your area, other TMCA brothers and sisters are having revival break out in their areas. Memorize and remember and keep this before you in Zechariah 4, 6. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. God is the Lord of hosts. He is like the general setting up and dressing his army in battle array. He knows exactly where he needs you in this time in history. He has placed you where he wants you. He's empowered you and given you the authority to take back the territory where he has placed you. As you fulfill your assignment and your brothers and sisters fulfill theirs, God brings the battle plan together for the victory. We are on the verge of the greatest awakening the world has ever seen, and God has chosen us to usher it in. Now, it's the time to move by faith under the power and authority of the Holy Spirit to take back the territory the enemy has stolen, to step out by faith and to be the harvester God has called you to be. It's not the time to be timid for Christ, but boldly speak the, forth the truth and love, to declare the word of God in your life, in your ministry, in your area of influence. And every one of us can do that if we each will complete the greater work God has for us to do. Together, each of doing our part, God will bring it all together, and our country will be one for Christ. This year and in the decade ahead, you will see God moving through you and other TMCI ministry to accomplish all that he wants done. Our job is just to allow him to completely use us the way he wants to use us. Allow him to place us where he wants us and then work through us to complete his plan for us. This is the time for greater works to boldly step out and be used by Christ. We must not let the words of the enemy frighten us. Today is God is calling you to his end time army, calling you to be willing to let the Holy Spirit guide you daily to the greater works for the glory of God. So the fire of revival will burn brightly in your area of influence. Today is the day of salvation. Today, I believe the greater works is starting in all who hear this message. I believe that in the coming days, you will see the fire revival breaking through you and your 
in your area as you are obedient to the Holy Spirit. I know that God is going to do a great work and mighty work through you. Go forth and lead and bring forth the harvest that God has assigned you. And we pray this and thank you for what God is going to do through you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed week. Thanks so much for watching TMCI TV. If you found any benefit in this episode, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our future videos. If you are interested in planning a church, starting a ministry, or looking for 501c3 tax exemption status for your existing church or ministry, TMCI can help. Click the link in the description below for more information. We look forward to hearing from you soon. God bless.